Crude inventories fall for a second week in a row. Luke, what are your thoughts on the IEA data? Because it still seems as if fundamentals really haven't changed, and a report that came out last night suggests that we're still in that situation. Yeah, well, I think oil production in the U.S., although they say it's steady, I, I don't know if I believe that. And again, every time we talk about these reports, there's a drawdown, there's a drawdown, there's a drawdown on leaded gasoline. And we're coming up on the summer driving season. And I think you put all those things together and oil has got a good floor to it and it's had for the last month or so. So it sounds as if you reversed your position a bit and you're getting a little bit more bullish on crude. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I, I've, I started to get more bullish or uh, lower 52, 3 around, you know, and I always say I like crude at even prices. It broke through 55 and then 57 and a half. I said if it gets to 60. So um, I have been long crude and I have been saw long some uh, Exxon Mobil, which I think is the purest play, biggest, uh, uh, best house on a bad block type of thing. And uh, that's worked out OK as well. So where are your levels going from here? Because we are over that $60 level, which was key for you. And for the first time in a while, when you take a look at the five-day chart, it's relatively in line. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's going to break out to 70 or 80 anytime soon unless we have some geopolitical event. And the risk to oil is a big spike up in case some geopolitical event happens, not a big spike down in case somebody comes out with the best solar panel all of a sudden tomorrow. So technology doesn't work that way, but bad news does. And I think a lot of people that were short and there was you know, calls for oil going to 20, that just didn't happen, that didn't materialize. I don't see huge strength going forward, but I, don't, I also don't see a lot of weakness. So right around here is, is how I'm gonna play it, staying with this, within this range, a couple of dollars either way. So it feels as if crude has finally found its sweet spot after some volatile moves since basically June of last year. Yeah, it, it, it did. And look at what it's done to some of the, uh, you know, we talked about this a few months ago. I said OPEC wants to put pressure on the marginal producers and looks what, look at what's happened to those marginal producers. Look at some big takeovers and merges in the, in, the, in the oil business. As we said, the big guys with a lot of cash are going to come off and pick off these assets and they're going to be very smart about how they produce and how they do it. And uh, I think oil is consolidating and OPEC so far has gotten what it wanted. Okay, thanks very much, Luke. Appreciate the insight. Talk to you soon. Thank you. For The Street in New York, I'm Jill Malandrino.